Hello everyone, and welcome back to my Redstone tutorial series, Redstone 101. Today, we're going to be talking about episode 3, the repeater and block power. Lesson 3, episode 3, lesson 3, whatever. Okay, first of all, the repeater. Awesome thing, this is its recipe, a uh, 3x3 crafting grid, you need 3 smooth stone, 2 redstone torches, and 1 redstone dust. We talked about this uh, previously, right there. And that's the uh, little icon there for the repeater. Okay, so in the past couple of lessons, we've seen repeaters used to extend signal length. Uh, you know, this power source can only go 15 blocks. The repeater extends it, makes it allowed to go even further. We've also seen the concept of an inverter, where the power going into this block, the redstone torch, it turns off when the power comes into this block. So the light's not on when this torch normally would be on when you have it, have it here. So repeaters are kind of cool because um, we can use them in place of dust because they respond on their sides uniquely. They have some interesting properties. See here I have these two side by side. This one providing a signal just going to this light but not coming over here in any way. I'm gonna flick on this light or this lever it'll turn on the light. But these two signals don't interact with the repeaters side by side. Uh, in the way the way they're facing like that, uh, that allows them to uh, isolate signals next to each other. This is really good because if you had uh, dust next to each other, that dust would connect. Right? If I have dust in one line and try to do it again, it connects, and our power powers all that. So that's a really really good property. Now they also have this cool new feature where they can be locked if they receive a signal on their sides. We'll talk about this a little later on. See this right now, I got an on off here signal. You can power this one and that locks it. Now its output is locked, it won't change. If I turn this off, lock it while it's off, now I can't turn it on. Hmm. Think what that would be useful for? There's lots of really cool things. We'll talk about them later. Next up, uh, these features have allowed repeaters to be used to create compact, tileable redstone circuits along with redstone torches. Getting rid of dust in these circuits can create something like this. That's one wide, where I send a signal up here, turns off this torch, goes up here, and turn off the light. Basically, we're just moving a signal up. But because it's uh, one tile wide like this, and this there's no way that this signal will interact with any others next to it because there's no dust, we can place them next to each other. So here's three of that same thing in a row. And this allows us to toggle one light at a time. If you just use dust, this would not be possible. You could just use torches though. I'm just using repeaters here to show their unique property and how we're moving this signal, because you may want to move the signal. The key to understanding all this is block power, the concept of block power. Once you understand uh, the rules for moving power, redstone power, through the different blocks in the world of Minecraft, all your redstone projects will just be that much easier. Really this is the main concept. How do we move power through blocks? What can be powered? What can't? Circuits, all that other stuff, it really comes from these rules. So the first thing you will ask, of course, is what can and can't, cannot be powered by redstone? Well it's pretty, pretty easy. Solid blocks can be powered, transparent blocks cannot. So any kind of solid block like this quartz, I can put power into it, take power out, flick that on and off. But transparent blocks like glass, I cannot send power through. Nope. Uh, there's also other ones, you know, 
cactus, fence gates, that kind of fences, that kind of things. But uh, the main one used is uh, glass. Now we've also alluded to the fact that repeaters can pull power out of blocks as well as sending it into them. And this is a very interesting uh, property as well. It's kind of the same thing as what dust is here, but if dust forms a wire, that won't, you know, it acts kind of differently. So uh, repeaters allow us to isolate signals, pulling them in and out of blocks, and giving a little delay to make things not horribly crash. Now, talking about block power, the redstone dust can power the block space it occupies as well as the block it is placed upon. So you can see if I have redstone dust placed on top of this block, it is actually inside this block space. It's receiving power from this torch up here. This torch is powering the block underneath it, which is this block space, which powers this dust. The dust powers this lamp and this lamp, and it also powers the block it's on, which is that one. If I turn this off, they all turn off. I should turn it off, excuse me. Okay, so we can see that easily can turn all of them on and off. Now, I kind of already mentioned this a little bit, but uh, we talked about it a few uh, lessons ago, but when two dusts are placed next to each other, you get redstone wire. In this form, it does not transmit signals to the sides. So as you can see with it on here, it's only powering the blocks it's on and the block it's pointing into, which is that one. These blocks back here are not being powered. Neither are the blocks above. Well, that wouldn't happen normally, but uh, this is just to show you that the side blocks here do not get power. Unlike the dot, where it does power all the way around it, all four sides. Uh, and this is a very interesting, very interesting property. But we can't make circuits small and compact and tileable with dust as it all connects. I kind of showed that before, but repeaters can act as our wires, kind of like we showed a little while ago, and not connect. This is just showing that example. The dust here trying to use this as a, as a wire doesn't power these blocks, those lamps. If I come on here and flick these on or off, I'm not going to turn on those lamps. There's no way. I'm just turning this dust on or off. See. The, the power does come over here, but it doesn't go to those ones. Now if we use repeaters though, we can. Repeaters do. Now, why, if I just flick the middle lever, does it turn all of the lights on? This one turns those ones, this one turns those. Didn't I just have one lever turning one on over there in that circuit? What's up with that? How does that work? Well, the reason that that happens is because of a concept that people call primary and secondary power. In this case here, the lamp, or this torch here, is powering all of these blocks all around it. All right, it's not powering the one it's on. The lamps are getting power directly from a power source, the torch. But in reality, what's going on here, we can see the uh, quartz here these represent those blocks. Those are the ones getting the primary power. If I add these blocks up here, they're also getting power. But they're getting secondary power, not primary power. Now this is this is a kind of important aspect of the torch. Uh, because, well I guess we'll just first of all let's say there's no tertiary power in Minecraft. It's not gonna head myself here. So it powers can power the second block, but not the third block away. Uh, there is kind of a funny behavior of pistons. Uh, so this is a uh, non-sticky piston. I put up a regular block there. This is a power source. All right, redstone block that I can move for the sticky or a regular piston. It's a regular piston, not sticky. But it's not going back down. 
That's because the piston down here can actually respond to a signal two blocks away. One, two. Uh, as soon as I break this, it'll go back down. Yeah, that's this, a unique feature of pistons. But besides that, the torch is the only one that responds to these things. Now, what's funny is the top block is the one that only receives this stronger source of power, this primary power. It can power blocks to the side. The block on the side of the torch here, like this one, cannot power a second block, only the first one. That's because the torch is giving quote-unquote secondary power to the sides. But the top is receiving primary power, so we can also power this block. Just unique difference. Subtle, but uh, this can actually cause a lot of problems in people's redstone circuits if they don't understand that uh, this feature, you could say, exists. Now, redstone blocks also only seem to give secondary power. They don't light up these corner blocks here, so I just broke. Um, even though this one's receiving power from this block, it does not power that one. Likewise, this one, even if I get rid of one of them. Same thing is true for lever and all other power sources, except for the torch. This is, gotta keep this in mind when you're working with torches. It's got this cool, unique <laughs> difference. It does not power the block it's on, but it transmits this primary, secondary strength of power. Very, very cool. Okay, so we previously showed this, this circuit here. I had, I had covered up uh, these blocks here with stuff on the front. But you can see this one only lights up one. But let's first talk about how can we shorten this one up here, first of all. I mentioned it that we could remove the repeaters, right? Well, remove our repeaters. Let's uh, get back into the daytime here. Sorry about that. Should have done that a while ago. But uh, we remove the repeaters. So you can see it just got rid of the repeaters. <laughs> and it's the same exact thing. Now you may want the repeaters out there. Uh, you may want those repeaters back there to be able to send those signals other places. Um, you know, you can branch off of these blocks, take power out of them in different directions, and or reset them, or do all kinds of other cool things. So there may be reasons for doing that. Um, but why, when I flick the middle lever, this whole block power thing, am I only f powering the middle one? And not the sides. Well, as we saw before, that is because of secondary power. We are powering this first block here primarily from the torch, and this one is receiving secondary power. So it is isolated. In this example here, this block is being powered from this torch so it also powers this quartz block here but it does not transmit tertiary power into this block nor does this one which is being powered secondarily by this block transmit power over to here so we can keep our signals separate This would not be possible if I just put power into this first block, if just the, the, um, the lamp itself. That's what we were doing before, and that's what was causing one to light up multiple blocks. See, because in reality, let's go here and demonstrate, that's what's happening. When I light up this one, middle one, these three are all getting powered, but only secondary power is going to this front one. We're not tertiarily or whatever powering these ones. Because there is no tertiary power. So there you go. That's that's the trick. That's how a lot of um, things work. So if you need to understand which blocks are being powered and which not, because you might come in here and power a block 
And you need to realize from it with the torch that these other blocks on the side are also being powered. Okay. Well, I think that's going to do it for this lesson. We got uh, a lot to cover. This three lesson set finishes what I call the core of this series. I think these are the basic concepts that once you understand all this, you can do a whole lot. Understanding how to move signals around and, and figure out why your circuits aren't working. Oftentimes it's due to these kind of funny features that. Um, redstone devices have these properties but they're also very useful to allow us to do really cool things so there you go um, please let me know if you guys have any questions some feedback comments questions queries conundrums concerns whatever they are leave, leave a like subscribe and I will get back next time starting with the uh, medium kind of section of s lessons with pistons and some of the basic circuits that I think everyone will find useful next time. Thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.